Howdy, uh, I'm Joel with Earth Tools, and this is a very old BCS machine, about a 1985 model. And what we're going to talk about today on this thing is what BCS calls their free wheel devices, which are something you may find browsing the BCS website uh, or an old BCS catalog. The free wheel devices are a device that was created by BCS to sort of give somewhat of the effect of a, of a wheel differential to tractors that do not have a differential. This old tractor here, a Model 725, has no differential on the axle. It's what we call a solid axle machine. So the axle is a single piece of steel through the machine so that all the tires both run at the same rate of speed all the time. There's always drive to both wheels. The problem with the solid axle machines like this one or the current 722 BCS or a Grillo G85 or anything without a differential. The problem is that with two, the two wheels locked together constantly, uh, it becomes hard to maneuver the machine because in order to make the machine steer, you have to drag one of the wheels around. The wheels cannot turn independently of one another like they can on a differential axle. So I'm, to maneuver this, I'm having to put a lot of force on the handlebars and actually drag one of these wheels across the ground. Now, if you had a differential in the transmission, the differential is a gearing device in the center of the axle, this axle, sorry, that allows the two wheels to turn independently of one another. When you get into the larger BCS or Grillo tractors, or, or, uh, or most any riding equipment, like a full-size tractor, truck, car, or anything else, those machines all have a differential. So it allows the wheels to turn in different directions. So when you make a turn, you're not dragging one of the wheels. This is a very good thing when you're driving your car that it has a differential because if you didn't have one, every time you went around a corner, it would leave a black mark on the road because one of the wheels would have to skid. So BCS came up with these free wheel devices. Some people also call them wheel ratchets. Uh, this tractor is equipped with a set of them. And they are what I call a very poor man's differential. Uh, they're not terribly cheap though they're like 250 300 dollars a set and uh, but they're poor because I think the performance is pretty poor and, I, and poor we, we really don't recommend these things so anyway they have several positions they can be located in here right now they're in the locked position so this little tab is in this side notch just pointing straight in line with the axle and that means that they're just locked. So they're solid with the axle right now. They're not acting as any kind of a ratchet, which is why I was having to drag this thing left and right. Now, I can, I'm gonna set this one in the freewheel position. This little notch at a 45 degree angle here is the freewheel notch, meaning that no drive will go to this wheel. So this wheel can now turn independently of the axle in either direction. So I could steer the machine pretty easily. Look wheels turn independently. Problem is only this wheel is going to drive. This wheel is not going to drive at all. So if I'm driving this machine along it's just going to slowly turn in that direction of course because there's no drive going to this wheel so it's it's going to you know it's going to always pull to the one side. So this is not an ideal situation. It does allow you to maneuver with less, less effort but it's not ideal. You've only got one wheel driving. At least with a differential, a true differential, both wheels have traction to them as long, or I'm, let, me, let me rephrase that. Both wheels have drive to them as long as they both have traction. Um, with this system, this wheel is going to drive, and if it loses traction, this wheel is not going to do anything. Now, there's a, a more positions to these things. I can set this thing so it in, the, in this position. So I was in the free wheel. Now I'm going to set it in the ratchet left position. So it ratchets going to the left locks going to the right. So now, let's see, I'll start the machine up so you can see. direction for going forward because now I've got drive to that wheel, no drive to this wheel unless I back up. So I'm going to switch it to the other ratchet position. So I just flipped it around 180 degrees so we're in the front notch. Now it'll ratchet going this way, lock going this way. This will mean that I have drive to both wheels going forward, pulled in a straight line, Way, this wheel can turn faster. So I can make an easy turn because this wheel can now roll faster than this wheel. If I make the turn this way, however, I'm stuck because I gotta drag one of the wheels around. So it's difficult. So 
other wheel ratchet. I'm going to make it so it pulls going forward and ratchet going back. As I said, it's a poor man's differential and you have to be pretty poor to want this because you can never get it to work like a differential. It's either going to pull with both wheels going forward and not pull going backward, meaning you have no reverse unless you reach down there and flip one of the ratchets uh, uh, into the lock position so you can back up, uh, or you're going to have no control going down hills. You can make one wheel pull and the other one not pull and you can steer it in either direction. Uh, Probably the most popular use of this of the of the freewheel devices is to have one just permanently locked, have one ratchet so it pulls going forward and won't back up. That way you can at least turn in one direction easily, but that means you've always got to make right hand turns or left hand turns depending on which one you've got released. And that way when you back up, you've at least got one wheel pulling when you back up. But it's simply not ideal. You can never make these things work ideally. My recommendation is if you need a maneuverable machine, get a tractor with a differential. Thanks for watching.